na kabenta ki khobor ba man kasmi pet bat subscribe ya u antor news khuble ye phi baro kini kilong ki khobor ba ta kasmi ki shi pai kari ki long ki nong da ye upat kari habadon ka jing e bar kathma dei maki ki bele banda kum ka jing buram ye ki shi pai bala shong than u mantri rongba ka jela konrat ki sangma ulapan pau ka jing songo ye ki hagaliang ka sarkar jela Nagaliang umentri rongba ula palat pai ba iki kali help polyclinic jongki sipai bala shongthan ki ban nai ai ya ka jing shakri satura ha ka jing yalang ka bala plong harainu training center shillong men ha ka khat nyotrik unai wing shu shu kum ka buram ba khrau la ai sngo ba da ka jing yarap song pisa ba san lak tingka na ka cm special grant shakani ka kam ba ba pen sngo umentri rongba ha ba ai jing grant kum ukong san Umentri rongba ulapan pau ya ke jing kershan na kaliang ka sorkar jela bat pens kemru ya ke jing kur jing mud ha kaban ai jing kershan ya kinu kinu ki senjam bala shim ki badai na kaban ta ka bha ka mian jong ki shipai bala shong thai. Nagalia, the veteran health care, was restricted to polyclinic at Shillong, Military Hospital Shillong, and one in Panel Hospital at Woodland Hospital, also in Shillong. This year, we have already taken a giant stride in improving health care for the veterans of Nagalia by the historic impanelment of Nikrims. However, with all these facilities being limited to Shillong, a lot of ECHS beneficiaries, especially aged veterans residing in Garo Hills region, were facing hardship due to the compulsion to travel to Guwahati or at times to Shillong even for minor ailments and surgeries or checkups. The need for expanding the reach of VCHS facility within Meghalaya was essential to bring in any tangible improvement for treatment of veterans in Meghalaya. Of showing our gratitude and our uh, uh, you know, thanksgiving to our armed forces uh, for the contribution and the sacrifice that they make uh, to protect each and every citizen of our country and therefore this is a very small step but nonetheless a strong and a powerful message that we as a society and as a government and as a chief minister we are there to always support you and be with you in every way that's possible. Uh, Meghalaya and Shillong specifically has always been a location where we have had a strong presence of the armed forces and uh, during the course of this uh, years and the presence of the armed forces, we have faced challenges uh, uh, because of different kind of um, confusions and uh, conflicts that were there in some ways. And uh, But in the last uh, many, many years, I have seen and noticed that uh, uh, we have seen a lot of collaboration now taking place between uh, the civil civilians and the armed forces. And that's a very healthy trend. And this may be a very good occasion for me to stress on this aspect once again. That, uh, that as we move along uh, through proper discussion, uh, through proper activities where we work with the civilians and with the society at large and the armed forces together, uh, we'll be able to really build up a very good uh, environment and a good communication uh, among uh, the, the communities out here. And that I think has been happening and that is happening of course because of the leadership uh, within the armed forces that we have. And I must take this opportunity to thank all our uh, the, the uh, leaders, the Air Marshal, uh, the Lieutenant General and others who have been very proactive in this, uh, in this uh, area and have ensured that we are able to create the right environment. At the end of the day, uh, it is the country uh, and it is our society and uh, all of us that is uh, right in front, the country is right in front and at the top of our agenda and therefore we all, as uh, you know, members of the armed forces, as well as the society, must work together to keep that agenda uh, at the top of our uh, agendas for all of us. So with these uh, few words, I once again congratulate uh, all of you. I thank each and every stakeholder who has made this program. A serviceman contributory health scheme was launched with effect from 1st April 2003 and is financed by Government of India. Under this scheme, ex-servicemen pension...
just fit. Nice. Very good. Very nice.